that's kind of uncool. But here we go with a guillotine hitting. It's pretty good. And guillotine killing the shield guy. All right. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown All-Stars! So last time we had, um... What's her name? Roxy? Roxy. We had Roxy. And now we have Berg, the, the bug jimmyker. Torch Sense, Aerial Ace, Sleep Blade, Exorcer, uh, Leivani, Stolly, Roost, Toxic, Defend Order, Attack Order, Vespiquen. Our team is also called uh, Weak to Stealth Frogs. Joy Scar Heracross is probably the best Pokemon here. Then I also had to switch out Double Team for Toxic Spike. And then the same goes for Duran, who has the funny Wild Lens Hustle combo. Uh, it had Guillotine, so I changed it to First Impression. And yeah, that's the team. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, I forgot to say that I actually got some replays of Berg uh, from a fan. Let's just go to this then. Gliscor. All right. Here, let's just go for Iron Head. Ooh, big damage. Ooh, big flinch. And if we can hit this, then he's dead. Please don't miss Durant. This is very important, Durant. This is a really, really, really important Durant. Don't let me down, baby. Zilla scared, and he would have let me down. Piece of shite. Piece of shite. No burn, please. Thanks. And that's how we almost get rid of the Greninja. But Excelgor can um, Giga Drain this last piece of health. Burn no Hapano. This is definitely a chancey. Chance E. Chance E. Chance E. Chance E. Let's just protect. Fine. Charizard eats up anything I have, so it's fine. And there is the Charizard. Brown. Brown. Alright. But even if it is. Oh, it is set up, but it's not X. Okay, let's go to Crossle right now. This is either the best play I can make or the worst play, depending if he goes for an attack here. And he goes for an attack here, but he goes for Dragon Claw. Let's Rock Blast. Don't miss. Thank you. Cool. Well, this is already dead, so I might as well... Maybe he goes for something weird. No, he goes for something not weird. Seems kind of whack. I'm just gonna go for Leaf Blade. It's also Kartana switching, I'm pretty sure. Correct. Go for the Leaf Blade, do no damage at all. X's are here. Smart Strike. Oh, Smart Strike still kill. Ah, because I see why. Alright, then we go into this and... Uh, Close combat. We need this Heracross. That's out of the question. We need this Heracross. So I'm gonna sack my Excelgor. To the Nature's Madness, actually. Check that out. We died to the Discharge, but we at least do some damage to this Tapu Koko. Maybe enough to go for that close combat? Maybe enough? Maybe? He goes for Z to kill me. Oh, what? He goes for Guardian of Alola. That's beautiful. That actually allows me to kill this Tapu Koko. Or you know what would be the best? If we did not kill it. Yeah. Hold on. No, now we definitely kill it. That Protect was just pointless. Because you are on a timer, not me, friend. Ah, Alright, so we get Tapu Koko for the price of three. I think this is a win. I'll go for the Giga Drain here. And then I'll go to... Yeah, cool. He goes for Acrobatics, kills me. I'll go to... Yeah, I'll go to this. And I'll go for... Close Combat is still the strongest thing I could go for. And he gives me Moxie Boost. Close Combat. Cool, yeah, win number one. Close Combat. Coolsies! Yeehaw, friends! Close combat. Booyah! Okay, so the dude that sent me the replay, his name is Loco Trail. Let's see this bat soul. Starts off with Durand versus Darmanitan. Not the best lead because Flare Blitz means the end of the Durand. That's kind of sad. But here comes the Crustle, the big boy. And that the Durmanitan is out for blood, would have killed it if the sturdy didn't happen. But here is a Salic Berry into Shell Smash. So we are faster at three times the speed. This was a, a risky Rock Blast because Earthquake would have killed, but uh, you know, that was risky. Anyway, here's Pidgeot who will just die to a Rock Blast that connects. That's very nice. It It, it is very nice. Okay, Rebombi, more like Redead B, right? Haha, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, Toxapex is actually gonna live a uh, Earthquake at plus two because Toxapex is the defensive wall we all uh, hate. Here's Axelgor, pretty weird. Um, and um, 
pretty much switch, but the knockoff misses due to the bright powder, which is actually pretty hilarious, if you're asking me. But sticky hold uh, does not allow for knockoff to remove the bright powder. Here's a defense drop. Knockoff still does a lot of damage because of the item being there. And here is a Baneful Bunker just to maybe live the next one, but I'm pretty sure with reduced special defense. This is the end. And there's a weird uh, Focus Blast, but the Focus Blast actually manages to kill anyway. Here's Bug Buzz on the Jirachi, does some damage. Jirachi kills the Excel Gore. And I think you know where this is going. I actually. You thought you know where this is going, but it's actually not. This is just a Levani for the kill. And here is a Grand Ninja. The Grand Ninja kills the Levani. Gets the battle bond going. Here is a Heracross that will go for a juicy close combat. But the Greninja has a Sash, and because we lower our spadefs, yeah, that happens. So this is coming in clutch. Vespiquen versus Ash Greninja. And Ice Beam lands, doesn't quite kill, and attack order is victorious. So that's beautiful. Alright, let's find another battle as ourselves. Okay, Gen 2 Red team from Mount Silver. Yeah, Red's Pikachu, to be expected. First impression should kill, and it does no static, please. There is the static, alright. I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge because I'm pretty sure he might go for... Alright, he just goes for the kill, that's fine. Alright, so now the obvious play would be Crossel, but Crossel will get burnt. Like, alright, guys, guys, guys. How much do you bet I'm getting burnt here and dying? This Crossel is going to get burnt from the Heat Wave? Or a uh, Heat Wave? Into Sturdy, into Salagberry, into Burn, into uh, Shell Smash, into Lowered Stats. Billy was a little bad. Into I am talking out of my ass, alright. Are we faster though? Yeah, we are. Okay, please don't miss. Norlax, okay. Okay, so we don't miss. That's good to know. Now oh, we got three hits and X Scissor finishes it up. If you're playing Red's team, why do you have blue? Um, we are faster than every. Oh, this is. Okay, we are not faster than this. Uh, we have to hope that Stone Edge hits the, the, the thing here. Oh, he misses Power Whip though. Brrr. This is how we roll. Okay, so I was I was saying how my RNG would be bad, but it turns out that it's not my RNG that's bad, but his. And as I say that, we die to Ice Shard. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so... I mean, he can go to Charizard, I don't care. Oh, we do a lot of damage with this. Dragon Dawn. Sure, bucko, we kill you with an Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace, rather, not a Aerial. Dazzling Gleam kills. As I said, it really comes down to the Stone Edge. Because the Stone Edge has to connect. If the Stone Edge doesn't connect, we're kinda screwed. Uh, let's go for the Focus Blast, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's basically that. It's basically that. Alright, so we missed that, so... Oh, he missed that, right. We missed that, so that hopefully means that we can hit our Stone Edge. We missed twice. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely hitting the Stone Edge, right? Game, correct? Correct? Game, correct? It is true, GG. Alright, cool, another win. So, um, I'm gonna end this video on this replay that I've got. So here is the replay versus, uh, yeah, versus this team. Looks kinda scary. This is AG, by the way, uh, if you didn't notice. Here is C, the Primal Kyogre. Um, here is a Sword Stance, but I'm pretty sure it's Ice Beam. Will Freeze? Nope. Alright, so no freeze, Kyogre dies to a Levani. Should have run more speed, but I guess not. Punchy will get pretty hurt with this, but goes for surging strikes. And um, yeah, so that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Here we go, Megahorn kills the Punchy. Um, and now Rayquaza comes in, the Slasher. The Mega Rayquaza, I assume, by the way. It is Mega Rayquaza. The Mega Rayquaza likes to go for Dragon Ascent to just decimate its opponents, as we all know. That's kind of uncool, but here we go with a guillotine hitting. Guillotine killing the Mega Rayquaza after, I think, wait, it's only 30% or something like that, so it's pretty good. And guillotine killing the shield guy without even looking at him. It's Sword Arm um, killing the Duran, who just guillotined two Pokemon to death. Here's the Behemoth Blade into the Crossel, and the Crossel gets the Salak Berry. And because he gets the Salak Berry and Shell Smash, I'm pretty sure we are faster than the Sword Um. And we are, and the Sword Um it goes uh, right down into the ground. Here's the Oxus attack, who's also pretty fast, but he's also not faster. 
So all in all, the guillotine claims this game pretty nicely and Crossel finishes it up. This our last Pokemon had... You know, it was dead. Yeah, it's actually dead. I just forget possible illusions my ass. Alright, anyway, that's gonna be it for today, guys. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Or actually, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.